Whether you've seen this demo or not, I decided to do a quick presentation on the analysis of the swinger, where you're swinging a <coughs> cup of water, <coughs> colored water that is, over your head, and it's staying on the platform. And if you haven't seen that, then ask me about it to do it for you. So how does the water stay in the glass and the glass stay on the tray? How does that all work? Well, it's a condition of too fast. And you know about the too fast situation. If you go too slow, it'll all fall off. Just right? Possibly. But you really want to be too fast. So it must be swung fast enough so that centripetal force needed is greater than the weight of the glass alone. Therefore, it needs additional support force. And the force, that support force for the glass, okay, the support force for that, this whole thing, comes from the platform underneath. And for the water, where does it come from? It's the glass itself shoving into the water. Okay, then it's pressing into the water. And if it's doing that, there can be no separation between the glass and the water so that the water doesn't come out. Well, that'll be true at any position as well. Any position, as long as the centripetal force is large enough. So it always requires an inward support force to execute the circle it's in. So, a little more detail here. We'll show the cup at different positions. And MG is acting on it always, everywhere. So you don't get rid of that. But the support force looks different at different locations. And I'm not going to necessarily be consistent here. But at the bottom, it's the biggest because it has to overcome gravity and provide the centripetal force. The centripetal force better be more than the weight. You can see it is there. So at the top, you need additional centripetal force. I should say additional inward force to provide that centripetal force. And that's the key. This is the key right here as to why it all stays together. The two real forces, Mg and Fs, pushing on the water to enable it to basically overcome its inertia, its tendency to want to stay in a straight line at a constant speed. And so that lets it all work. And here over on the side, we have Fc. There's no support. Well, there is a support force. And all the support force is Fc. And then at a couple other positions, I could draw it intermediate values pretty big support force there lesser over here but bigger than what it is here so the smallest value of support force is right at the top well what if we put the swinger at an angle so at an angle that's kind of tricky you might have seen that already too and you saw it all stay together well mg acting down support force acts straight in all right, if we go all the way to a horizontal circle, we could analyze the forces. Here's the orientation of the cup. We got mg down. And if we draw the a line in the direction, you know, that the string tension is acting, which really what it is is um, going to be the support force. Knowing that the sum of the forces in the y direction is zero. Why do we know that? Because there's no vertical acceleration. So if I can put over here a, a vertical vector equal to the horizontal, uh, sorry, to the, to the weight, and that solves the problem of not accelerating vertically. Well, where does that come from? It comes from the support force. The support force is right along this line, and the vertical part of that support force provides the upward force needed to overcome the weight. And so we get the resultant, well, we get centripetal force here being the resultant of these two. And Fx is equal to Fc. Because the vertical part of the support force, that is what overcomes the weight, we don't need any sideways force. We don't need any friction to enable this cup to move as it does. So it all works out without any friction needed. And the position of the water even relative to the cup stays constant. It's always sitting there in what we could maybe call the normal orientation. It's not sloshing around inside the cup. And there is a 
is an analysis of our fun little swinger, which I would say, indeed, do this at home and have fun. <laughs>